I have a huge appetite. I can eat and eat all day if I could. But in order to stay lean and keep off the weight that I've lost, which is 130 pounds, and keep it off for six years, I need to have tricks so that I can stay in my calorie deficit and not be hungry. Why? Because this belly is always going, feed me colas, feed me colas. <laughs> my top five tricks to show you and share with you how I stay in a calorie deficit to lose weight and not be hungry. And we hear from you guys all the time. I'm so hungry. How do you stay in a calorie deficit and lose weight? As well, soon as they start portion controlling, and we felt it too, you get really hungry because you're used to eating a lot and now you're trying to cut back and you're, yes, you are actually hungry. And we don't like being hungry. No, and Kyle and I have both lost 130 pounds and kept it off for six years. How have we done this? We are the same as you. We struggle, we gain weight very easy. So if we eat too much, we gain the weight. And we have a huge appetite. Oh my gosh, like I can eat almost as much as Kyle. <laughs> oh, that is true, I'll, and I can eat a lot. So the first tip is make simple food swaps. Now this works because you don't have to give up the things that you like, and if you switch to a lower calorie version, you may actually be able to eat more while still being in a calorie deficit. For example, we used to love bacon. We switch it out now for turkey bacon, and we can actually eat, instead of two regular slices of bacon, we can eat like three or four slices of turkey bacon. And it's the same with, I used to drink seven full sugar cans of pop a day. Well, I switched it out to diet pop. And now, you know, usually I drink one a day, but I drink a couple a day and it doesn't affect me because the regular sugar ones are like 140 calories. So we went to the grocery store to go back to the bacon. And let's say for breakfast, we ate, you know, three pieces of bacon with other stuff before, like real full fat bacon. The bacon is very tiny, like real bacon. Once you cook it up, yes. the applewood smoked turkey bacon is like this thick and this big. Oh yeah, and it kept its size. So you can still have three pieces, you're getting more food, or you could even probably have four and be still a little bit under the three pieces of regular bacon calories. More food, bigger food, fill up your belly. Exactly, and like, you love, we love peanut butter. We do eat regular peanut butter, but if we want more, for less calories, we eat PB2, the powdered peanut butter. And you can have more of it for way less fat and way less calories. There are so many simple diet swaps that you can make. Swap out, you know, full fat popcorn for Smart Pop, which is 94% fat free. Go to light condiments and sauces. Go to lighter fat-free cheese. There are so many options. You can still eat what, you're, what you love. The you amount. more of it. And nowadays, like when me and Nicole grew up a long time ago, there wasn't as many diet options. So, so many. Now, options. like literally with PB2 or any powdered peanut butter, you can have double the amount for like the same calories or a little bit less even. I make like um, peanut butter and jam everything. Peanut butter and jam yogurt, French toast. You guys have seen some of the recipes I've done with it. And I'm eating, I'm getting my peanut butter and jam fix. I can eat way more of that, but I'm using low sugar jam, low calorie jam, PB2 and lower calorie bread and egg whites instead of eggs, making simple swaps. It, you won't be hungry and you'll be satisfied too. Without doing these simple tricks, especially the diet, the food swaps, there's no way that Kyle and I would have lost the weight and kept it off for six years. We used to say, okay, Monday morning, we're gonna get on a diet and we would do it a couple days and then we would fall right back off track because we weren't loving our food, we weren't feeling satisfied, and we were starving all the time. And our natural set point is big. Like I was 400 pounds close to it, and Nicole was close to 300 pounds. Yeah. And that wasn't even, we could have gotten bigger. Thankfully we didn't because of our, our health issues were getting too bad, but we could have. A lot of people can't even get half that size if they tried. We could have gotten double that. 
we naturally hold and gain weight very easy and we can eat a lot. So this is like these tips literally saved our lives. And the second one is increase your neat calories. Basically what that means is calories burned outside of exercise. So that's like taking the stairs instead of the elevator, parking further away from the grocery store or wherever you're going to, sitting instead of laying down, standing instead of sitting, doing chores, taking out the garbage, doing an extra set of stairs or like, you guys see me all the time, right? Like, so like <laughs> Nicole in real life, is actually very hyper. She's more hyper than she is on camera. A lot of people say, is this like a fake character? Kind of, because she's calm on camera. <laughs> she's actually way more hyper. So when this thing's blending, making her anabolic ice cream, Nicole is dancing, singing, and this is natural. And this girl's neat calorie expenditure is through the roof. She's going for a walk, but she's dancing around doing side jumps and stuff. She's burning off a lot of calories. This girl's hyper. When you're hyper like that, your metabolism is rocking. It's burning a lot of calories. And if it's not natural for you, for you like it's not for me. I'm a lot more of a calm being. So for me, like I'll adopt some of that and I'll stand to eat lunch or I'll do something silly during the blending process. It's only like a couple minutes, so but it all works towards being in a calorie deficit. Exactly, because what we learned, we used to go ham with our exercise. We used to go way overboard with our cardio, with our weights, and weight training, we learned, doesn't really burn that many calories. So we would go for hours in the gym, and then we would be exhausted. And doing really hard cardio would make us hungry and tired. We mean like actual trying to do HIIT training. Yeah, like so we could only do like not even real HIIT training. We could only go for a couple minutes and then we'd be laying on the couch for the rest of the day. So doing it this way, increasing your neat calories, what we do is we walk low intensity and so basically so neat calories and then on top of the cardio we do is LIS, which is yes. low intensity steady state yep and then we do weight training but it's very short sessions that's intense and so because we like to eat we like to burn more calories by increasing our neat calories so that I can eat 1,900 calories and stay lean or lose weight, and Kyle eats about 2,500 and stays lean or loses weight depending on what our goals are. So doing lists plus increasing your NEAT is very sustainable. It doesn't drain your energy as and, much as like really hard workouts. And you're not gonna be starving all the time. Yes. And let remember when um last Saturday when I flew like a bird doing cardio in public and I really appreciate that, especially when there's lots of people around and you're flying. That's it's really uh not embarrassing at all. But I was burning neat cows. Yeah, you just yell at them. Guys, so sorry, I'm burning sorry. Meat. <laughs> the Colette's told me I gotta burn neat calories. Yeah, Nicole Colette said I have to fly like a bird. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll be like, who is that? The third one is drink water with your meals. Water is amazing. It fills your belly up so that you're less hungry, you get full way faster, and you're less likely to reach for food all the time. And also, another thing that I learned with water, if you don't drink enough of it, your body actually sends signals like it's hungry, but you're actually just dehydrated. So if you drink water with your meals, your belly will be full, and if you make sure you get enough water, like eight eight ounce glasses minimum, you will not get those extra hunger cues and you'll be, again, less likely to reach out for food and be hungry all the time. So me and Nicole are lazy and dumb. Like, don't <laughs> listen to anything we say here. We're not nutritionists, doctors, whatever. We want to play to win and we want to cheat. We want to do <laughs> things extra easy, easier than last time. We want to be satisfied, eat a lot of food, and stay lean and never get the weight back on that we had before while doing you know, as little as we possibly have to. We go in the gym now, it's the opposite of our old philosophy. We go in now, do as little as possible and get more results. And we look better, like we're way leaner and we actually like eat a lot more than we used to. We eat more and do less, but we, we're picky and choosy with how we eat and what we do. And then the fourth one is our favorite one because we've been doing this since the very beginning, which is, choose lower calorie, high volume foods. 
So these are foods that are low in calorie, but you can eat major large portions of them. So you feel full and satisfied for way less calories like popcorn or the anabolic ice cream that we learned from our coach, Greg Doucette. He does the same thing. He fills his belly up with the anabolic ice cream with Smart Pop. We love adding tons of extra veggies to all of our meals, berries, um, pretzels, anything lower calorie that you can eat a lot of that makes you really satisfied. And we choose those the majority of the time. And we can make low calorie versions of pretty much anything like that. And it fills our bellies way up, like low calorie French toast. We eat low calorie wraps. And they're and we're like. Full. The ice cream and popcorn is delicious. And it it's also so takes us a long time to eat it. So when we're watching TV at night or we have a bit of time to relax, that huge bowl of Smart Pop takes a long time to eat. Like Nicole, yes. even with the anabolic ice cream, Nicole has to slow down a lot of times because it's yeah. just too much for her stomach. It literally like, it starts when you fill the blender, like it'll be here. And then when you blend it because of the guar gum thickens, it literally goes up to here and it takes forever to eat. I'm super full and I have a happy belly. And then I eat the smart pop and it feels honestly like my bowl is never ending. Like it keeps refilling. I'll look down and I'm like, wow, I still have this much left. And then I'm, I go to bed happy, full, and I wake up the next morning, I'm ready to eat again. We actually, Satisfied. so before when we were eating high calorie dense foods, like more fat in our diet, mm -hmm. we actually went to bed hungry, which affected our sleep. Now our bellies are full going to bed. We eat pretty late at night and we can sleep better, which also is another bonus tip that helps with, um, you know, if you can sleep better, it's gonna be easier to lose weight and be in a calorie deficit. Yeah, because if actually when you're sleep deprived, you, your body gets a lot of cravings and you're typically more likely to reach for food and just a little less willpower, I guess. And also, when we were eating the higher calorie dense foods, there's nothing wrong with them. It's just that if you choose those most of the time, you only get a little bit for a lot of calories. So we weren't eating a lot of food um, and it was filling up our calorie deficit so much. This way, we're, we feel like we're eating a ton, but we're still in the calorie deficit. So like fat is nine calories per gram of fat, yes. where protein and carbs is four, I believe. Yes, you're right. So you can see the concept. If you eat pro more protein, a lot of protein, harder for the body to digest, is less calories, cal and then carbs are four grams, fat's nine grams. So we wanna eat the most for the little littlest amount of calories. So for example, if you, um, two tablespoons of peanut butter is like about 180 calories, a whole bag of Smart Pop is like 200 if you choose like the 94% fat free. So that's uh, 200, around 200 calories each. Two tablespoons of peanut butter or a whole bag of Smart Pop for around the same. Oh yeah, the last one, okay. When you are like Kyle and myself and you're hungry all the time and you have a big appetite, um, well, we used to eat from the bag and the container of everything. So we would get ice cream and we would literally eat it out of the tub or we would get a bag of chips each and we would end up eating the entire bag. When we thought about putting things in a bowl or from a plate, you're less likely to keep mindlessly eating. When we were eating from the bag of chips, we would look down and it would be completely gone. When we measured it out in a bowl, when the bowl was done, the bag was already away and that was it. You're, less, you're more likely to stick to eating the portion sizes and stay in a calorie deficit when you have plates, measure stuff out or weigh it out or whatever you choose. So we didn't stop eating chips. For example, that was one of the first things me and Nicole did. Yes. We used to both eat a bag of chips each a night. Oh my gosh, that's then crazy. we said, okay, we got to do something and eating less is like the most simplest, basic, common sense thing we can do. We still got the chips. We got one bag. We divided it in two bowls. And when that bowl was done, there was an end to the bowl and it was cut the calories in half of that snack already. Yeah, so we still got to eat the chips in our calorie deficit and we felt satisfied because we were still eating what we loved. We did the same with ice cream. We bought measuring cups and we measured out a few servings, about a cup and a half each, and then we put it in a bowl and when it was done, it was done and we were less likely to eat the whole tub every night, which we used to do. We would eat about half a tub or a full tub of ice cream each. All right, the friends, so to sum this up, 
I do not want to live in a world where I can't eat bread or pizza or ice cream or be, I don't want to be hungry all the time. So if you're like me and you want to do it, try out these tricks. I'm not a doctor again, but you can try them out if you like. And I hope that you love your food. Just remember, you can love your food. You don't have to be starving in a calorie deficit. You can love your food, be satisfied. If you want to know exactly what Kyle and I did and what we ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds, we have two weight loss guides down below. Exact portions, meal plans, family-friendly recipes. It's all in there. We also have recipes in the Power 13 cookbook, which you can find the link and discount code down below or you can watch these two. And um, when you do it, like you wanna burn neat calories, hit the bell for subscribe and like and share and that'll burn a few. <laughs> now, let's, let's do like the, um, like the hula hoop out. And hula hoop and shoo Well, now I have to Big Mac it. Cause we can't show this on YouTube. Big Mac, Big Mac, dee 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 dee. Love you guys, peace out. And guys, if we ever do a group walk together, be prepared to be embarrassed. I might wear my warm slippers <laughs> and um and maybe some of these socks. Say bye. Bye friends. See ya. Goodbye. Bye. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. Up!